Hi guys, this is Madeline again with BelovedEssences.com. I'm still here at the International Papyrus Museum in Giza. And as I was walking around, I spotted this beautiful key of life. We call it an Ankh. And our wonderful hostess that's been with us for these past Sorry, couple of sorry. days, she has uh, explained it to me once, and I said, oh, would you please do that one more time so we could get this on camera for the rest of you. So I'm going to get her to tell me the story again. Of course, Miss Thank Madeline. Thank you. It was pleasure. That's when it would be a special Ankh Key of Life. It's everyone uh, interesting for that because sample for long life, full of happiness. But when we see, you will see different direction, like east, west, and north, south. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see the different uh, letters for hieroglyphic alphabet. And we're going to see the lotus flowers and up on the petal because the petal is symbol of good life. So it has the hieroglyphics in it and the lotus yes. flower and the beetle, which is a symbol of good life. Good life, good life too. Mm -hmm. Because someone say, if someone have a problem or in ancient times in 7,000 years ago, someone walking in the desert and he saw some snake try to kill someone else, but well, the beetle kill quick the snake. Oh. It's meaning the beetle more stronger than the snake. From that time, so the So the beetle killed the snake that was trying yes. to kill something of else. Of course. So the beetle is the protector there. Okay, cool. Yes. Yeah. From ancient time, we mm -hmm. see the beetle symbol of good life. For that reason, all the art the drawing the beetle inside the key of life or the ank to wish for the person have that one long life full of happiness. Perfect. I love that story, don't y'all? Okay. Thanks, everybody. We'll continue with our little uh, video. Entourage, I guess we can call it that. Check with y'all later. Thank you again. And thank you. Thank you.